You say who's in the bullpen? Everybody. Waiting on deck is Duke Snyder, who has driven in the last six Brooklyn runs. One ball, two strikes. Bounding ball wide of third. McDougal up with it nicely. And it's a bad throw. And it hit Kutler, the first base coach. It hit Kutler, the first base coach. And friends, this is my 23rd year in this business, and I've never seen a baseline coach hit with a thrown ball before. As just another example, anything can and probably will happen at Ebbets Field. That's uh, Kutler rubbing the back of his left leg while the ball hit him. McDougal is charged with the error on his throw. And Reese is on, and Pitler, I guess, is glad to pay the price. He was hit with a throw. But now it's and insurance runs in the game that saw the Twins clinch a tie for the pennant. And he scored the winning run in a two to one victory in the pennant clinching game after doubling. Foul back, strike one. Fairly homered in the Dodger second, and Don Mincher homered in the last of the same inning, and so it's a 1 1 game. Foul away on the right side, strike two. Dodgers figure that Quillacy will not pull Drysdale and have the center fielder well over toward right. Curve low, ball one, strike two. Drysdale has struck out three. Grant has struck out three. Third. This year he won nine and lost eight. He's 29 years old, lives in Florence, Kentucky. To the box. One out. Captain Harris that had three hits and 15 times up. Here's Matty Alou. He's had only one hit in 13 times. Made a pair of good fielding plays last night, though. Freckled faced Jim McLaughlin, the Huckleberry Finn of the Cincinnati pitching staff. Outside for a ball. This is his second World Series game. He started the second game of the 1970 series, losing six to five. Ground ball to shortstop. Darrell Cheney nails him, and they're two down. And Joe Rudy. Ball the inside corner, two off speed pitches and a blazer, and he's got two strikeouts. So Vukovic, as we said earlier, he brought it with him. Andohar has worked two perfect innings. He's starting out like we're in for quite a night. And it appears from that last fastball that came back over the inside corner that Vukovic's arm is sound enough that he can throw enough fastballs to keep him honest. Here is Dane Orge, seven for 14. Up the middle. Knocked down by Gantner. The throw is not in time. A base hit for Dane Orge. He's 8 for 15. Now, Brother Garth, the Toronto Blue Jays back home, taping this World Series for his brother Dane. I think he'll have some fun looking at those base hits when this series is over with. Artificial surface hit. Gantner, as the ball picks up speed, can only dive. Orange has another one. What a hitter, and that's when he dominates the game. Play ball, Sean. Thank you, Jim. Steve Avery getting ready to go to work against the Toronto lineup that has Devon White leading off in center field. 
Roberto Alomar at second base, batting third and at first base again tonight, Joe Carter. The cleanup hitter, right fielder, Dave Winfield. Andy Maldonado gets the start in left field. Kelly Gruber bats sixth at third base. The catcher is Pat Borders batting seventh. The shortstop, Manuel Lee, hits eighth and batting ninth. The pitcher, David Cohn. The defense for the Atlanta Braves. He did not start a league championship series game. This is his fourth start in the World Series. Deion Sanders in left field. Otis Nixon will be the center fielder. And David Justice, the right fielder. Gary Pendleton on the infield at third. Jeff Blauser at shortstop. Mark Lemke will be the second baseman. Sid Bream, the first baseman. And once again, Damon Berryhill behind the plate. It is another delightful night in the capital of Georgia. 67 degrees, the game time temperature, a light breeze out of the west, and the forecast is for clear skies throughout the night. And the umpires working this one. John Shulock of the American League behind the plate. Jerry Crawford at first base. Mike Riley at second. Joe West at third. Dan Morrison along the left field line. And Bob Davidson of the National League in right. Another sellout crowd on hand, as you might expect. As Pat O'Brien told you, 5,000 Braves fans were at the airport at the wee small hours of the morning after game five when the Braves returned at about four o'clock in the morning. And they're on the feet all over the ballpark as this one is about to begin. Game six of the 1992 World Series and Devon White will get it started. He's four for 21. And here's the first pitch of the night from Steve Avery. Fastball high and away and we're underway. White has four hits in the World Series, but three of them came in game four. Line to left, and it falls in for a hit in front of Deion Sanders. So Devon White takes the second pitch of the night in the left, and he's aboard with nobody out in the top of the first. Here is Russ Ortiz, 2-0 this postseason, but ineffective his last two starts. Winning games one and five for the Giants against the Atlanta Braves. Both games in Atlanta. X time first up. And a strike on the inside corner. X time hitting 311 overall this postseason. Eight for 22 in the World Series. Erstad and Salmon will follow. Eckstein talked about how when this World Series is over, 27-year-old Eckstein will head back to Sanford, Florida, back to his parents' house, wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning and take out the trash. Back to regular life after this dream postseason. For a young shortstop who was put on waivers by the Red Sox two years ago. The 2 1 pitch popped up. Shallow left, and Bonds plenty of room and time to get there. One away. But Black, the pitching coach for the Angels, had this to say to Kevin Apier after the top of the first. Good tempo. Very quiet. Yes, yeah, good. Very good. Hey. To the first two guys, just where you want to be. All right, that's good. Tempo, rhythm, and cadence so vital to a pitcher. Walking. Barry Bonds intentionally. A, a catcher wants with the runner running at first base is a quick call from the home plate umpire. Posey thought it was a strike, but that pitch was low. Good call by Jerry Davis. If you don't get a quick call from the home plate umpire, you may throw it to second base needlessly. Now it's Prince Fielder. What a great first year in a Tiger uniform, dealing with Zito, and he pops it into shallow left. Out goes the shortstop, and Crawford's got a two out. Knight takes a strike oh. from Freed. Three hits last night was the 17th career multi-hit game in the postseason for Brantley. 
Tied for the most all time with more opportunities these days and tied with his teammate Yuli Gurriel. As solid as they come. Waiting on the 0 1. The opposite way, left center field. Back on the track and handled by Duvall. Altuve back to the bag. He ends up at third with one out.